All right, guys, so I wanted to show you something. I'm going uh, to do a little something different today with our video. We are in the process of building out a brand new YouTube studio, actually, and we have a bunch of projects going on inside our facility, but one of them is a dedicated room that I'm actually getting ready to set up. We're super excited about it. It's going to give us an opportunity to have much better equipment, lighting, and even some better editing um, so we can do some really amazing videos aside from the ones that we are doing right now. So let me take a, take a walk over to that space and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, so let's take a walk over here. We are going into our, this is going to be our brand new studio. We are painting it. It's this, one of the extra offices that we have here in our facility. And that's some of our large boxes, shipping boxes, but it is gonna be gigantic. It is enormous and we cannot wait until we get this done. It's a pretty big area, pretty big space. We've got the floor going in. We even have um, we have our um, soundproofing, which is going to be fantastic. Soundproofing is going to go up here on the wall, and that whole entire wall will be. Take a step back, show you. All of this will be soundproof, and we will have audio, and we'll have an amazing brand new studio so with that being said we're gonna go check out a little bit all right guys so um so take a look at our room we're gonna get that set up as we said before I'm doing something a little different here taking a little break from all of our how-to videos just to tell you a little bit about myself I haven't talked too much about my wife and myself um, I do have a son he is seven years old yeah actually yeah he's seven um, and of course my wife have been married to her for 11 amazing years uh, which has been fantastic uh, we started our business um, back in 2000 actually I've been doing the cookie business till 2006 and have been working in retail for nearly 26 years before that out of high school uh, my first job I actually worked in a restaurant believe it or not um, I was the guy who cleaned out the ovens <laughs> and underneath the dumpster in the back which was a amazing experience uh, if you've ever had a chance to clean out underneath a dumpster I would highly recommend it and of course that is a joke by the way do not clean out underneath a dumpster and then after that I worked uh, worked for Winn-Dixie believe it or not a grocery store when I was in high school I was 16 and I bagged groceries and mopped the floors for quite a few years and then I moved on into Publix uh, went into Publix supermarkets down in Florida I was with them for nearly eight years and then from there went into college and then of course on to working for another retailer the big old bullseye used to work at target for quite some time and um, that was uh, the last bit of retail that i had but while i was at target i actually operated and ran their bakery and deli department and was trained to run their starbucks um, and that's where i got a lot of uh, additional food experience and then from there uh, that was when we uh, made the transition into opening up our bakery, our Italian bakery, and we had that for a couple of years before we had our son. And uh, trying to grow a business and have a brand new baby at the same time, I would try to recommend to you not doing that. Uh, because mainly when you have a business, that's like having another child. So if you are in the business to have a business and you don't have kids yet, try to start the business and get it successful up and running before you have kids. And then from there, we transitioned to having our facility um, licensed by the Department of Agriculture and set up to uh, be a commercial place that we were able to um, get online and then start our e-commerce business. And that was about almost 10 years ago. Yeah, actually been about 11 years. Um, so from there, that's where we got the idea to do what we do today. And um, business is definitely, definitely good. I would tell you when I first started um, doing this type of business we had to well we I actually started it uh, my wife had a job at the time um, after that but I would work till about 12 to 12 30 every night and would be up around 6 37 every day uh, building the websites building all of the listings all of the listings uh, we've got 720 plus listings on Amazon our Etsy shop at one point had 385 listings and then, of course, our eBay store had listings on it as well. And then the Brittle Box, uh, our corporate website, um, has over a thousand listings. So all of that was actually done by me, by myself. 
I did not have anybody to teach me, and I just pretty much kind of learned as I as I go, um, learned as I went. So I would highly recommend that if you are looking to do a business, start a business, uh, no matter what it is, um, when you first get it up and running, it is something that you will definitely have to put a lot of time and effort into. Um, but it's definitely well worth it. It is really all about the, the, the process. For me, my passion is the process of watching something develop and grow from nothing or just from a simple idea and then bringing that in manifesta manifestation and bringing that into reality and creating something that was really just at, at a thought at one point in time and then now is something that you can, it's tangible, you can see it grow and it becomes something amazing. So um, definitely I would tell you it takes initially a lot of effort and time um, but if, if it's something that you're passionate about you really don't look at the clock. I was kind of tired of working um, a job where I was actually looking at the clock every single hour, just couldn't wait to get home or couldn't wait to get out of that place. Um, that is not a that is not a way to live. I can tell you right now, it is it was it's just not. It brings you down. It, it tears down your your um, energy, um, your imagination, everything that you could be potentially doing. It just minimizes that because it's so wearing on you. So. As early as possible, I would recommend if you have an opportunity to change the direction you're going and the path that you're on, definitely take advantage of it. Start with a little small step moving forward to, to create whatever it is that you were wanting to do. If it happens to be in the food business, great. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's another type of business. But at the end of the day, starting it is the biggest part of it. So I'll check you guys out on the next video. I thought I'd just do something a little different with this video and uh, talk a little bit about my family and uh, my family life and such and then show you guys I'm really excited about the new uh, room that we've got going on um, the new office space that's going to be eventually turned into a studio um, and then when they get it up and running I'll definitely show you guys how that looks so I'll see you guys in the next video